Hi there and welcome, I'm Nick Saro and thank you for being here. Today's episode is we're going to be speaking about going from redundant to renewed thinking. Now some people go, what do you mean by like redundant to renewed thinking? Isn't thinking always the same? To be brutally honest, the more people that I see, the more research that I do, um, you know, the thousands of business owners that I come in contact with, um, I am starting to see patterns within people. I'm starting to see patterns not only, um, you know, within how people kind of think, but most importantly, what the effects are of that thinking on people's businesses and then ultimately people's relationships and their life. Now, so what I've done is I've I wanted to explain to you some of the components around redundant thinking and then some of the components around renewed thinking. Now, so redundant thinking is ultimately something that's what? It's really outdated, correct? And what do I mean by that? So here's an example. So with some business owners, the redundant thinking is thinks something like, you know, this is the way that I've always done it. You know, um, if I work harder, I'll get further. Um, you know, I don't need any help, I'll figure it out myself. Uh, something along the lines of, um, well, you know, if I, if I, you know, do it any other way or I try to vary from what I used to do, well, maybe things aren't going to work out right. Or, you know, something like, I'm not really good at, you know, this online stuff. I don't really get into you know anything like social media. I don't think it sort of works, or something like you know the way that we've always done business is just referral only. Now, that's okay, but I believe this is redundant, especially in today's market. Today, the ball game has changed. Things are changing continuously. Other things like no, we don't even need a website. Why would I need that? You know, we're a bricks and mortar business. You know, we we sell cakes or something like that. Well, in actual fact, you know, you need integration. And integration equals, you know, renewed level of thinking. So in other words, renewed level of thinking is, um, you know, being able to be integrated with your thinking. And here's what I mean by this. Integrated with your thinking um, is saying, how can somebody else help me get to the goal quicker? Number two would be something like, how do I educate myself in order to work smarter rather than harder? Number three would be, who can I, you know, joint venture with that somebody else has got, you know, my clients that instead of me trying to advertise that I can, you know, advertise and try to, you know, target somebody or try to hope for the best, how do I go exactly to the person that I need to get to? Who's got that clientele and how can I partner with them? So one of the things I'd like you to write down is that in today's market, it's about collaboration rather than competition. See, that's renewed levels of thinking. Now, let me show you what I mean where it comes to, you know, a, a, a redundant versus renewed. Renewed thinking is where something happens to you in business and renewed thinking equals that you recover quickly. In other words, you know, as an example, let's, let's talk around business and marketing. Something like if you've done a marketing, you know, campaign and it hasn't really worked too well, um, you just look, have to really look at the analytics and say, okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What can I do better? Most people in business, especially when they have redundant levels of thinking, they go, you know what, this marketing just doesn't work. It's failed, it's cost me a lot of money and every single time that I'm gonna do this, more than likely it's gonna happen again and I'm gonna fail. Do you see that's outdated levels of thinking? And I'll tell you why. 88% of all marketing, research shows that 88% of all marketing fails. So if you know that 88% fails, only 12%, you know, really does well, it makes sense that, you know, there's a reasonably big majority that on a few of your campaigns, you're not gonna go as good as what you can. Now, renewed thinking also says, well, each campaign's separate, it's not always gonna be the same for every single one, you know what, I'll try again, I'll test, I'll measure and move forward. And there's a, you know, what I like to call a fail fast component. In other words, renewed thinking is about failing fast. Don't letting it get to you, don't let it, you know, draw you down or drag you down. Let's get moving, let's get moving, you know, and let's get moving fast. Redundant thinking is sticking to something forever. In other words, as an example, let's say a client, you know, if you're in a B2B space, you know, a client, uh, 
didn't pay their bill or their company went broke and you know they didn't end up paying you which happens a lot in business and you just get stuck in there always angry with everybody everybody becomes a threat all your clients the way they operate is that do you see that's redundant thinking it's not all clients are like that it just maybe happened to be that particular one client now by the way I understand this I've, I've been in your situation you know before if this has happened to you but you know what life goes on you've always got the ability to make more money now could it hurt of course could it you know put you in a bit of a situation absolutely I believe in renewed thinking all people are good you know it's just sometimes the situations that they're in well maybe make them a little bit challenging at the end of the day right or you know what here's another level of redundant thinking you've got a client and that's all good and then the next time you know the client doesn't do business with you they go to somebody else and you know you start getting angry because oh, what well, you know why don't that why don't they stay with me have I done something wrong no it isn't it's just a relationship some people stay for a short time other people stay for a long time or relationships I mean think about it for a second are you still speaking to every person that you've met in your history no you're not with some you do with some hey it's a brief interaction with others you just move on so I'm hoping you've been able to understand the difference between going from redundant to renewed thinking now a person that I really love to study around redundant to uh, uh, renewed thinking is people like Elon Musk so Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla vehicles or SpaceX right and think about it for a second he's created an incredible electric car that's really efficient lots of power great for the environment and it's you know really taking on some of the big car manufacturers another thing that he's also invented which is amazing is this box about this big that clips to the side of the house and what it does is through a solar panel charges this battery up and what it does is give you gives you power for a week in your house so in other words you don't have to use the normal electricity that you pay an arm and leg for you allow the sun to do what it does I believe he's an innovator in going from redundant thinking the old way that we used to do it you know using coal to fuel power, power plants and then electricity versus solar panel solar energy batteries to you know hold that and then be you know excellent for the country excellent for the planet and most importantly excellent for the person that's got it I hope you enjoyed this episode I love speaking about redundant to renewed uh, uh, mindsets and you know application I'm Nick Sala and I look forward to seeing you on the upside.